Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna go over the difference between distance and displacement. Now you should remember this from National 5, but it's also relevant for the higher course. So let's get started. So we'll start by looking at the two definitions for distance and displacement, and we'll then put it into context in an example. So distance is defined as how far an object has traveled from the starting point to the finishing point of a journey, regardless of its direction. It is a scalar quantity. So remember from our table of scalars and vectors, distance is a scalar quantity. So we don't care about direction. So displacement on the other hand is the shortest distance between the starting point and finishing point of a journey which takes into account the direction of travel of the object so we do care about direction for displacement because remember it's a vector quantity. And often we can say the two points are connected with a straight line. And remember in the previous video, we also said that displacement can be considered as being the vector equivalent of distance because a displacement is just a distance with a direction. And we should remember that both distance and displacement are measured in meters. So let's look at this example now and it says to consider the journey below. A person walks three kilometers along the path shown, which is this solid line here. If they had been able to walk the most direct route from start to finish this dashed line, then they only would have walked 2.7 kilometers. So in this example our distance is the 3 kilometers because that's how far they traveled in total regardless of the direction. Whereas if we want to go the shortest distance from the start to the finish point drawing a straight line between the two then we have a distance of 2.7 kilometers. Now that means that our displacement is going to be the shortest distance with a direction. So we can write the displacement as 2.7 kilometers east because that line is pointing towards the easterly direction. Or if you wanted to use bearings to define that direction you could say 2.7 kilometers at a bearing of 090. That's all for this video folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, drop a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.